Johnson, sales manager of Brevard County, and I am here with two of the top producing agents in all of Brevard County, the beautiful Tammy Leluga Shriver and the beautiful Anthony Scaramucci. Oh, uh, today we're here to talk about the importance of video for real estate, for real estate agents, and we're here to take some of the anxiety, some of the fear out of doing video. Um, do you guys know that the top marketing resources for real estate these days are Facebook, Google, and YouTube? Well, it's funny that you should mention that, Stephen, because not everybody is a seasoned agent, and they don't realize that, like when I started, and even Tony, 20 years ago, the internet was just beginning to be a part of our business. We actually even had the MLS in a book format. All of our advertising was done in real estate magazines left at the convenience store. Mm -hmm. And they were outdated by the time somebody got them all the way up into Kansas. So the internet has been a great source for our local buyers and our out of town buyers. With the onset of the COVID virus, it has changed the whole scene of shopping for real estate. Everybody's going online, buying their groceries, buying a car, buying real estate. Matter of fact, I just sold a house sight unseen to a client in Maryland. They had me videotape it. They're ecstatic. We closed the day and the house is almost a half a million dollars. So that flip has, that switch has flipped. We're not going back. The future is the internet and the younger generation. That's where they're going. Everybody's online. So take it away. Absolutely, Tony. And so the next thing we're going to do is let's talk about some tips, some do's and don'ts, and some best practices for utilizing video, making the content interesting and exciting, and getting the most marketing value out of it. Absolutely. But keep in mind, it's not all about houses. I mean, yes, it is to us. Right. But at the end of the day, you don't know who your audience is. So don't just talk about every single listing that you have. Talk about the town that you live in. We're here in Titusville. Let's talk about the history. Let's talk about the Space Center. Talk about the lifestyle when that, again, out of area person comes into Titusville, Brevard County, the Space Coast. Tell them what they need to expect. Mm -hmm. What I find on my YouTube channel is the luxury crowd. They love exotic cars, boats, planes, equestrian, so if you're horseback riding or something like that, film that. Film things of interest that keep people wanting to come back to your channel. We all have interesting, funny, unique stories to tell uh, based on who we are as people, what we do outside of real estate, and where we live, what, our, what communities we're part of, what social groups we're part of. I know for a fact that in Brevard County, we have multiple, multiple agents that have stories about the surfing community, mm -hmm. first responder community, hunting, fishing, barbecuing, cooking, all these different really, really exciting things that people want to see and hear about. They want to follow along on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Steve, we have an agent in our office that was born in Miami. They weren't very rich, but they had a sailboat. So every year they would sail over the Bahamas. They would have snapper and lobster every day for dinner, and then they would trade that with the Bahamians. When they came back to this area, they came up the intercoastal and discovered Indian Harbor Beach. I mean, that story for me as a Western Pennsylvania guy, I'm intrigued, I wanna hear more. So just keep that interest going in your video. But also talk about the things that you do for your community because it's really important that we give back. We're very fortunate to be in an industry that allows us to do that. 
not just sell the American dream and the lifestyle, but also be a part of that lifestyle. I do a lot of events. You do a lot of charities. Yes. The, there are, you know, habitats, there are nonprofit organizations, street parties. I mean, whatever it is you do in your daily life, make it a part of someone else's life and show them that we too can give back, that we're real, we're human. Right. There's no, in, there's no industry that's linked more to being human. Right. And let's let's use that. Let's have interesting right. content. Earlier this year, Tammy invited me up to Pottysville. We're car lovers. We have antique cars. And we just drove around senior homes and stuff like that. The seniors were sitting out on the porches, waving. I mean, it was a, a love back and forth. I mean, it made their day. And even in neighborhoods, people were just standing out cheering and stuff. So glad we were to do that. So we were giving back to the community. They were giving back to us. That was just wonderful. So let's talk about a few do's and don'ts mm -hmm. as it relates to making video, making professional looking, exciting, fun video. Absolutely. Um, of course, we are using a professional photographer. You don't have to. As you saw, we all had our own phones out. You can do this at home, okay? This is one of those, you can attempt this at home kind of projects. On a minimal budget. It's Very free. minimal. YouTube is free. And it reaches millions. Yes. I yes. mean, what kind of budget is that? Right, thousands, millions, all over the world. You know, I'm hitting, getting hits from Germany and stuff because of the antique car. That's getting me hits. So you just want to keep that interest going, keep something happening. And that's where the search engine optimizing comes in. Thank so, you. SEOs. Yes, SEOs. And you've heard us talk about those before. So let's go into that just a minute. Put it in your title. Put the address. Put what, the car, the scene, the whatever's going on. You're going to have a description that goes below that. And then also on YouTube, you're going to have tags that you can add in. Don't forget about the hashtag and the cool thumbnail that is the introduction shot of the video as well. Yes. Right. And don't forget that we have that great list that came out of the Real Estate Magazine. So we will post that again so awesome. that anybody Phenomenal that needs, exactly, yes. Yes. needs an idea of what kind of hashtags to use. So Steve just tipped on something really important, the thumbnail thing. And Tammy and I know this. So when you do a video, if you just put it up, YouTube will grab whatever in the video and you're going to get those crazy shots. So we recommend taking a few stills of wherever you are and then you have control of which video you want to upload as a thumbnail. So that's another really good tip. My other two tips, when you put it up, make sure it's done 100% right. Because if you see an error later and now you've got 200 viewers, 400 viewers, you're like, oh no, I have to pull it down. It doesn't keep track. It starts from zero. So I've done that several times. I've had like a thousand hits. I'm like, ah, you know, put it back up. That's a great point, Tony. I can now be in the video. Have fun with it, right? Absolutely. I get, to be, I get to be the fun police since I'm the manager. What not to do? Keep it professional. Your dress, your speaking should reflect who you are, yes. but it should absolutely be professional. Remember, you're representing an industry, you're representing yourself as a business, and you're representing Coldwell Banker Paradise. Um, do not, do not go into filming or talking about confidential information, contractual information, things that can, uh, that are part of a transaction. That's absolutely not kosher. Stay away from it. Um, and, you know, we've all heard this before, but just a reminder, guys, stay in your lane as a realtor. Don't go outside your area of expertise. Don't talk about things that you're not qualified to talk to. Keep it simple. Keep it fun. Keep it exciting. Keep it professional. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully, these tips and some of our fun and funky way of presenting them to you is going to make you more comfortable. You know what? Christmas is coming. Ask Santa for all the devices that you need. If you don't have the right camera, don't worry about it. Use your cell phone. Your cell phone. Get a selfie yeah. stick. Get the light ring. How does Tony look so amazing in all of our meetings? That beautiful light ring. So definitely, they're very inexpensive. They're business write-offs yep. and they will make your videos much better and that will help your clients. Schmidt family of companies, marketing department, and JD as well. Wonderful oh. resource. Any questions Wonderful on YouTube, resource. JD's your king. Go to him, ask, they're, they're gonna be there to help you. He's got all the tips and tricks and whatever for it. Right. So. Absolutely. Well, this was fun. Yeah. Always, always.
So thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you on the Space Coast. Yes. Yeah.